Would you like to know what's happening in the world of cryptocurrencies and blockchain? Here are some highlights from the last week. Welcome to another edition of Coin Locker. I've been away from YouTube for a while, but that's all about to change. In this video, I'll give you a brief update on the latest news from the world of cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin sinks to a 13-month low. Bitcoin plunges 80% from its peak price of 20,000 US dollars last year to below 4,000 dollars. This has sent the crypto community into a tizzy. Altcoins, meaning all cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin, have also shown significant losses. This is not surprising to veterans in this space as this kind of fall is not uncommon. Internet scammers have started a new kind of racket. They hijack authentic Twitter accounts and run Elon Musk ads asking people to send Bitcoins to an unknown account. They promise to give big reward to anyone who sends Bitcoins and unsuspecting people seem to be falling for the scam. The second largest bank in the US, Bank of America, was recently awarded a patent for secure crypto key storage. This could be an indication of the growing adoption and institutional interest in cryptocurrencies. Popular, a major South Korean crypto exchange, BitThumb, is celebrating its fifth anniversary and has released details of two events starting from November 12th, involving airdrop of 15 bitcoins along with Ethereum, Ripple and others. A fake EOS wallet on Google Play Store was taken down by Google. They reported that the fake wallet has been stealing people's money. I strongly recommend that you do thorough research before using any online wallet app. The contentious Bitcoin Cash hard fork or network upgrade went through on its set date of November 15th. Bitcoin Cash ABC and Bitcoin Cash Satoshi version are the two new tokens that have emerged. Both tokens are now trading in various exchanges and are in competition for survival by gaining dominance over the hash power. The Venezuelan government has announced that the national digital currency, the Petro, can be exchanged into any cryptocurrency if purchased this year. However, the wallet of the Petro is still not available and Petro buyers only receive certificates of purchase. Christine Lagarde, the head of International Monetary Fund, praises blockchain technology as safe, cheap and potentially semi-anonymous. She also said governments should consider offering their own cryptocurrencies to prevent systems from becoming havens for fraudsters and money launderers. In London, a chain of pubs called the Brewdog Bar started accepting Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash as payments across 61 locations. Reporters from Inverse.com visited the pub and bought themselves beer using Bitcoins. The Wall Street Journal reported that Ohio State in the US has become the first state to accept Bitcoins for paying taxes. Ohio businesses will be able to go to a website called OhioCrypto.com and pay everything from cigarette sales taxes to employee withholding taxes with Bitcoins. Eventually, the initiative will expand to individual tax filers. A Swiss exchange called SIX, based in Zurich, is Switzerland's principal stock exchange. They have announced that they will be listing the world's first multi-crypto-based exchange-traded product, or ETP. ETP will be listed under the index HODL and will track major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. The former CTO of Singapore-based Huobi, James Ju, is about to launch his own crypto trading platform called BEX before the end of the year. BEX will offer crypto to fiat and over-the-counter trading. That's all the time we have for today. Before I go, let me leave you with this question. What do you think regulators should do to keep bitcoins and altcoins alive? Do leave your answers in the comment section below and I would love to hear from you. If you want to know more about cryptocurrency and its security, do subscribe to my channel and I'll keep making more videos. If you like this video, please comment, like and share.